this week, evaluating our first winter with Kona, basically. This is our first winter with Kona. On top of that, obviously COVID lockdown, not a lot of things to do. Because of the cold weather, because of the snow, she doesn't go outside as much. Because she doesn't go outside, she doesn't go in her harness as much. She doesn't go in her backpack as much. She doesn't go as any car rides. So this week we have got a long road trip with Kona coming up. So we're gonna take you guys along with us so you can see what it's really like. But in the meantime, we're trying TikTok hacks again because I'm obsessed with TikTok and even though we failed at every single cat hack, we're trying again. This time, the TikTok wrap. Welcome back to Chelsea's Quarantine Kitchen. Today we're attempting the TikTok wrap. Why am I talking like a news anchor all of a sudden? I've taken a full tortilla, sliced it a quarter, no, half of, half of it, yep. But not fully half. Put it at the halfway mark, and then you just slice it a quarter. Uh, today we're going with a buffalo chicken style wrap. Uh, Curtis and I are big fans of spicy chicken. Half of the fun of cooking is snacking while you go. I've got my boneless chicken wings. Throw them in a bowl. Does that look buffalo-y enough to you? Oh yeah. Here in lies the hack, people. It's all in the fold. We're just gonna fold, fold. We have already taken this wrap from like a four up to like a seven. Now we're gonna make it a 10. Yeah. Wrap. I am also just exposed the fact that I'm not wearing pants. Look at this. Look at the lines. Look at the crispy brown outside TikTok. Wait, I see a problem. There's only buffalo on this side, no this side. I think that was my poor folding drop. Oh. I don't think it was the hacks problem. I mean, it looks perfect. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> This is all the stuff that we need to take Kona on a freaking road trip. Man, I already find getting everything ready to go on a road trip is like stressful as all hell. Lord help us when and if we have kids because I already find this to be too much and that's just taking the damn cat on the road. She's not a damn cat. We love her very much. That's why we take her with us. Okay, so a few things for me to point out for you guys is obviously we have Kona's carrier. It's always the easiest option to make sure that Kona has a safe place wherever we're taking her. Link in description. <laughs> we make sure that her collar has her tag that has our phone number on it. Because, Link in description. Because shit happens. Uh, we've got the leash and we make sure. Link in description. <laughs> We make sure that she's also wearing her harness in case we have to leash her, take her outside on a long drive. Obviously, we've got all of her food. Kona has been eating raw lately, so now that means we have to bring ice packs and a whole nother level of complication. She's very high maintenance. Not actually, this isn't that bad. She knows that the harness is out, so she goes and hides right away. I don't know why, she always wants to go outside, but she doesn't want the harness on. The treat bag shake is normally foolproof. This extra means that she's on to us. The fam jam is in the truck. That's like the hardest part done right there. <laughs> Not to mention Chelsea's parents are helping us do all the renos like you might have saw in previous vlogs. So we're bringing back all of their stuff. So the truck is packed full right now. There's no room in the back. Kona does normally sit in between us right here, but now she actually has no choice because the truck's full. I love it when she does this rests her head on the bubble. Hello, darling. It's nice of you to show your face. How are you? Have a great day. <laughs> you I love too. Your cat, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Do <laughs> you want like Instagram or something? Yeah, it's Bango Cat Kona. Oh, Good. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, have a great day. Good. <laughs> Ready to go back in your bag? Oh, that was loud. That was loud. She didn't like the car. <laughs> well, besides our little trip to the drive through, Kona has been in her bag snoozing, cool as a cucumber, not a peep out of her. I mean, I, I shouldn't sound surprised or disappointed by this. I should be really excited, which I am. I think it goes to show that the backpack and her carrier that she's already comfortable with goes a long way. I know that if she was, if we didn't have it and she was roaming around the truck, it would be a lot different. She'd be meowing a lot and she'd be looking for places to hide under the seats and stuff like that. So I don't think I actually told you guys where we're going. We are on our way to Central Alberta to go ice fishing with my little nephews and family. So uh, get ready for a true winter Canadian experience. Uh, we'll see you when we get there. Look at it. 
She's so content. She's just chilling in the hut with you. Yeah, she's my little fishing buddy. He's on the You just got to read the phone, okay? Let's <laughs> see. Oh, she got is this for fishing or for Kona? So I know a lot of people get freaked out when you're out night fishing or see somebody get fish and you're like, how are you not falling through the water? As you can see, we drove the vehicle. I'll show you how deep the bike's actually in. I hope you can see that, but like I could stick my whole leg down there and we still wouldn't hit the bottom. Yeah, like <laughs> at least that much right. Okay, so I got the Insta360 all the way down right now. Look. <laughs> This is like a 12 foot pole or something? I'm a Sony fan. It's all the way down. I'm a fan. You're a Sony fan? Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Sony camera? This one? <laughs> ah, good answer! I don't want to like leave this in there too long in case it gets frozen. Still recording! Yeah! <laughs> So this is what fishing is usually like, ice fishing. You're usually stuck in a little canvas tent like this. If we close this up and get it really dark in here, you can see if there's any fish that like swim by down below, which is pretty cool, but it's usually pretty quiet, isolated. Good way to kill just, off some winter. Just you and the elements. Pretty much. Okay, zip it up and let's see if we can see. Any fish go by? Well, I don't think we'll see fish go by, but. Look at it, it's like the ice is glowing. So imagine if you've never been ice fishing or if you're from a place that doesn't have the access, accessibility or the climate to go ice fishing, you're probably like, what's it like? Is it cold? It's probably only like, I don't know, plus three out, plus three Celsius, which is above freezing. But like you said earlier, the ice is ridiculously thick right now. So it was really cold last week. So it's not really cold outside. So that's nice. When you're in this, like we're in like a canvas shelter thing. It's really simple. It's a piece of plastic above us and a piece of plastic below us wrapped in canvas. That keeps all the wind out and because it's black it actually like absorbs a lot of heat. So when you're inside, are you cold? No, like the zipper is flaring and like the things are moving but we're completely sheltered from the wind. The other reason why it's black is to darken all of this atmosphere so that your only light source is the hole. This might be a controversial opinion, but I would say that fishing out of a boat or fishing <laughs> is a little bit more exciting than this. This is about getting outside in the winter, I think. <laughs> I'd be pretty freaking excited if we just like snatched a fish out of this hole though. This would be way more uh, rewarding if it actually, because we're in Southern Alberta, we don't get the opportunity to do this this often. So I do like coming up to Lacombe and getting ice fishing. I wish we could do it more often. I feel like once a year is probably enough. I should really wish that we were fishing right now and we caught a fish just for the camera. That'd be amazing. <laughs> We are gonna spend some time fishing and in the great outdoors with the family. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so we can see you guys next week. Say bye, Jude. Bye. <laughs>